Hey guys, today video is about uh, a digital climater as it here, the new products. And somebody said it is the ampere meter, ohm meter, volt meter, or or mostly most of the reviewer it said it is the multi meters. No matter what it is, okay, let's go into the review with me. Now let's begin with the box first. As you can see on the box, it said the uh, digital climater, and this is the model TES three zero one zero A. Reliable in quality. This the brand is TES, and it uses the twenty ampere, two hundred ampere, and six hundred until the maximum is six hundred ampere. And it has a peak hole, data hole, frequency count, geo check, continuity buzzer. And on the left, the return is similar. On the back, it's completely the same. It's the same. Okay, let's start to unbox it. One is the main thing, and it come up with the oh, it's a battery, Toshiba battery, heavy UT. Okay, it's it, uh, the new, completely new. And here is all the thing inside the box, and nothing inside. And, it, and uh, we can carry it by. Okay. Okay, about the price I just spoke it today it is fifty point five dollar. It is uh the price in Cambodia and for your country maybe it's uh, higher or lower is depending on your area. Okay, let's go on. And to begin with the main thing first, the digital climater, multimeter, or meter or something. It, uh, this the body look. Peak hole, data hole. This one is for ampere wall and the DC wall. This using for the ohm meter and this for the hertz. On the back it has something written you can see this I think this is the model should take photo yes it is the Taiwan product it is made in Taiwan and this is the cable black and white oh sorry black and red the red one is for the line and L and the black one is for the N it's not all it's not in French I don't know what's called in English maybe let me say it's no now it's the term for the battery one. Okay, I take out the cover of the battery. Okay, it is the Toshiba. Toshiba. And then we have to screw out the here first. Battery cover. Okay. Take out the battery. 
you can see it's still the plug for the battery the battery insert so now we have to insert the battery into the multimeter and then we have to screw it back okay let's begin with the ampere Okay, the meaning of this 20, 200, and 600. For example, you check your ampere is below 20, you have to select here. And if it's more than 20, you have to select the 200. And then if it's more than 200, can be 600. But if more than 600, please don't use this multimeter because the function is only or can only read below 600 and then it, this one is the voltage it's a AC voltage that use on uh, at your house it for example in my house I use 220 volts so I take it I select the 600 because the uh, 220 is more than 20 oh, it's more than 200 and for 800 oh sorry for 380 we still select the 600 this one 200 it used for 110 volt or another thing that below the 200 AC voltage and this one is DC voltage it for using like the battery and another thing that use the DC voltage and this one is for ohm 220k this one is for hertz and I don't know how to test the hertz and now let's start the testing okay guys now I plug in the cable it's here is the plus the left side is the plus and the the right side is the plus and the left side is the minus you can see here and the left is red and the right side is the black one and this is the coin is the second red volt maximum now I plug in the keyboard okay now let's begin with the voltage tester with this socket uh, the power supply in my house and I already plugged the cable and as I said in the beginning for the AC voltage you have to select the 600 voltage and now let's start remaining only 200 seven T wall it's a bit lower it's the low voltage it's, uh, the full is about 220 this one is no this is the it's been plugged in the one side you can see if the voltage is 221 volt but if uh, you connect the nerd to the another side it begins to the 200 again so one side is no voltage in this side is a voltage okay one more thing If you want 
want to hold on the data yeah okay now i unplug again and the data you just push this button and then the data is holding on and it can let me show you to the screen and if you push the uh, data hole again the the number and here you can see this the eight it's been hold on so i push it again and it's disappear it become this row again and for the ampere sorry this one i i may we skip for this one because we don't have enough tool to set up a, to test for you for the ampere for example this one is your power supply for example this uh this is for example this is the air conditioner this box is for the air conditioner and power supply from here to the the air conditioner you have to like this clamp it and read the data from this air con uh, from this data number is displayed here and and one more thing is uh, about the uh, yeah the DC voltage the DC voltage is for testing the DC so I take the battery here to test the Panasonic battery and it's a AAA model and let's start So that is uh, just for the example, it is testing the DC voltage because this one is the very low, very low capacity of the battery. So it can supply only the one volt. And another thing is for the ohm because uh, that's why it uh, some people call it the ohm meter, and you have to select here. When you what is called take each other connection from this L and N, it will have the sound beep and the ohm ohm number will display on the data display. This purpose is to test the connection of the cable. For example, I want to know this cable and uh, the end and the begin of the table are the same. So we just connect the end of the cable and then test for the begin of the cable. If we have the beep sound, it means that it's uh, the correct cable. Okay. Okay, thank you guys for your time watching this video and sorry for any mistake during the recording and if you have any question please drop me a comment to the below of the video I will try my best to reply all the comment and thank you again and bye bye have a nice day